Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing something a bit different for you. This is going to be a reading on how the energy of Imbolc, a celebration of the beginning of spring, this is a halfway point, about a halfway point, between the winter solstice and the spring equinox, and it's called the quickening of the year, will be affecting you. Now, this has no religious affiliation. It is just to see how the energy of this time, because there is a heightened energy that will be coming on the 1st of February, will be affecting you. So, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, we are going to see how this time of in bulk will be affecting you. I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you're taking this little tiny itsy bitsy channel and growing it bigger and bigger and bigger. And I can't tell you how thankful and how absolutely thrilled I am that you guys tune in, watch these videos. You are absolutely amazing and I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you if you're new or old to this channel. You are absolutely amazing. So let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, how in bulk, the Celtic holiday of in bulk will affect you. How will Aries be affected by in bulk's energy? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? Show me clearly, show me clearly. How will the energy of in bulk affect Aries? Fantastic. And what I love about this time is that the Celtic goddess breed was transformed into the Christian saint, Bridget, because she was so powerful within the Celtic world. Okay. Well, this is actually really beautiful. You have this balance here. And I know you're going to sit there and say, oh my gosh, you're saying this is beautiful, Dane. And I have the tower right here, but you have the lovers right here, Aries. So this is really a time of change that is coming in and the energy of Imbolc is going to be affecting you in a way that is bringing fantastic change to you. There's a sense of needing to look at the energy around you and needing to be calm and centered during this time. To look at your prosperity, to look at the way that you're moving forward and know that with understanding, wisdom and perseverance of self, you will be bringing in prosperity. That's what the Three of Pentacles is saying. Now it's a time of introspection Okay, it's a time to carry your warmth with you, with the blanket that she's making. In the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is depicted by three men creating a cathedral. So it's all about teamwork. Here, it is quite feminine energy, coming in, helping you focus, helping you get to where it is that you want to be, telling you to be patient, steady, and instead of creating a cathedral, a place that you have to go to find warmth and comfort, you're having a blanket right here being able to bring warmth and comfort with you. So that's the first thing that first and foremost about in bulk for you. There's also a high sense of, of air sign energy around you. There's an evolution of mind coming in. There's going to be clarity of thought. So this is a Gemini, a Libra, also an Aquarius who isn't being shown here. I would lean towards a Gemini and Libra for you because that's what's being shown in the major arcana but this is a sense of moving towards love and balance and really saying to yourself where is it that i want to be what is it that i want for you know the spring what are, where is it that i want to be in my life as i move forward as this change of seasons comes about now for those of you who aren't living in a place where spring brings about warmth you know if you're in Australia, let's say, and this is your beginning of winter, this is your time to start really saying, what is it that I want? How is it that I'm bringing that warmth and that prosperity into my life? So instead of being able to see, you know, the trees start budding and everything like that, you're going to see the world start to go into a bit of hibernation. So that is the energy that you're embracing here, kind of that slowing down energy for you to be able to move forward. It's going to be different depending, of course, on where you live, the world around you, but this is saying here the energy is simply the same. It is saying to turn inward, and that as you turn inward, focusing on your prosperity, focusing on where it is that you want to be, you're going to see that your emotions start turning. And this has been a tower time for you. 
And, okay, so when I say, okay, I'm listening to spirit, so don't mind me when I say that. This is saying here, you're not going to be going through a tower time. Or if you have, it is an end of a cycle that has come about through your patience, through your understanding. There's going to be residual of this tower period for you, Aries. This time of feeling as if everything is up in the air, as if you don't know which way to turn, as if emotions are running really high. So be aware that in bulk for you will bring a time of heightened sensitivity and will bring you a sense of feeling kind of out of balance with where you are, where you're going, how you're getting there. Your focus here is not on this disharmony, this discord, because it's the energy coming in that's going to be making you feel as if you don't know which way you're going. There's a count of three here that's going to be bringing you the prosperity that you want. Okay. And then you have the lovers. Six. You have three and three. You have six right here. So the threes are all about creativity, inner power, and that's where this turmoil comes through because you're going to be getting a sense of creating something, having patience, and having a time where you're doubting and fearing that things are going to move forward the way that you want them to. With the lover's card right here, representing a Gemini, this is also saying the duality of your nature is going to be coming through, Aries. And you might say, you know, I'm not a Gemini. I don't have a duality of nature. Every single person does. And in this reading, what we're seeing is we're seeing the lovers, and then we're seeing the tower. We're seeing beauty, and then we're seeing things kind of being rocky and falling apart and not knowing where you stand. So it's like a coin flipping back and forth. What you're doing here is you're embracing what it is that you want. You're saying, yes, okay, emotions are going to be running high. You're going to be affected by this time by having your emotions run high and not feeling as if you're on you know, a steady ground as you would want to be, but you are embracing what it is that you love. Now, it could be that a Gemini is around you, and it could be that this Gemini, for some of you, have caused this tower time, have caused you to doubt and fear the way that you're moving forward. But for others of you, this is that Gemini being around you, giving you that loving energy, showing you different ways to look at things. It doesn't mean that you have to have a Gemini in your life. It means that there is insight and understanding that is going to be coming to you, that is going to lead you forward in a way that is really beautiful. And the angels are fiercely blessing you. So as you're impacted by this energy of the awakening of the earth, you are going to find that you are embracing your love you are embracing your understanding. You're embracing where it is that you want to be. It's going to be a time of introspection for you, Aries. And you're going to say, you know what, now it's my time. Now it's my time to send those ships out. Now it's my time to start to see how I'm moving forward, where it is I'm going to be, what it is I'm going to do, and stand firmly in that conviction that you are moving forward towards the prosperity that you want, towards the place that you want to be within your life. You're embracing love, you're embracing joy, right? And you are going to find that a third thing is going to come your way through this patience, through this love, through this joy, through this understanding, through these blessings that are coming, that there's going to be something else, a third thing, a third ship, you know, three, three wands right here that comes in and you think, wow, that's a fantastic idea. That's the missing piece that you have been waiting for. It's going to help calm this tower time and this tower time coupled with the love that you are having in your life, has a strong, you have a strong air sign energy around you. Okay, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. This is also saying that you will be getting messages. You will be getting messages that mark, that make your mind clearer, that mark your understanding, that help you move forward, right? This can be around a youthful Gemini energy, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm leaning more towards Gemini and Libra here. But this is also saying that you're cutting through doubts and fears. You're embracing your prosperity. You're moving forward in your abundance. You're knowing that nothing is going to stop you. You're being a student of your mind. There are going to be because horses, especially in Celtic mythology, horses are links to the other world. So the fairy world, this is going to be a time of you getting ideas that start to come to you that really start to make things clear. And it's going to be you divinely guided. Think of this as your angels. Once again, your angels being right over your shoulder. You're not going to be able to see them, but you will be, be feeling them as you move forward. Because as this tower time calms down, you're going to see that love, joy, happiness, prosperity is what is replaced by it. So you go from being a student of your mind, a student of what it is that you want, 
getting the messages from spirit that are going to lead you forward to having this king of swords energy once again a gemini a libra and aquarius and you have again the gemini and the libra showing up here it doesn't mean that it has to be a gemini or a libra what this is saying is that the energy of a Gemini and the energy of a Libra is what you are embracing during this time of invoke, during this time of the quickening of the earth. So this is saying here that you know your mind. You're cutting through doubts and fears. Watch about being sharp-tongued because you have this intense energy coming in. And so you can be a little bit sharp-tongued at times, Aries. And this is just saying to be mindful of it. Watch your words. Watch what you're saying. This is also saying that for some of you, you have been through heartbreak, okay? And you're going to find a partner who echoes your soul, who balances you, and who helps you move forward the way that you want to. And this is going to be somebody who's probably either a bit older than you or mature, very mature, somebody who sees things clearly, somebody who also kind of guards their mind, this is saying here that you are also going to embody that kind of description. You're going to guard your mind. You're not going to be you're not going to be the easiest person to get to know at this time because you're taking everything in. You're using your thoughts and your memories to guide you forward, to look at where it is that you want to be, to look at what it is that you want in your life, and then to cut through doubts and fears and say, This is where I stand. So there's a chance here, a very likely chance of a lot of you, Aries, having this energy come in and finding that it kind of wipes the slate clean and helps you move forward in the love that you want through your patience, through your understanding. It brings in a change that is going to move you forward in a very real and a very beautiful way. This is knowing your mind. And this is also saying here that as this change comes about, as you embrace the energy of Imbolc, there's going to be a knowing that happens. And this knowing doesn't have to be big. As I always say, everybody wants firework life. You know, one big event after the other and everybody looks at you and goes, oh my gosh, you're just so lucky. Life doesn't work like that all the time. I mean, you have a few events in your life that are going to be huge and life-defining, and you'll look back at them and be like, wow, that was amazing. But life is made up of quieter, gentler moments. And this is saying here that you're going to be knowing your mind during this time of Imbolc. It's going to bring you a sense of clarity because it's going to be a balancing of emotions. You're going to see that your life right now is like the tide coming in and coming out. There's going to be changes coming in. And things are going to be evolving and you are going to find that as you move forward with love and understanding, you're going to be set free from the despair, the doubt, and the hardships that you have been handling, Aries. So this is knowing your mind. This is embracing yourself. This is king energy around you, okay? This is fierceness and determination and not letting anything stop you. This is a willingness to learn. Keep your mind open. You're going to have new ideas, new beginnings come to you. And it's going to be because you get angel messages. Angel messages are huge for you, Aries, that are going to lead you forward and embrace how it is that you want to be living your life. During the time of Imbolc, you're going to see that there's a sense of peace that comes over you, a sense of looking at things differently, of seeing your ships come in and seeing unexpected blessings come your way as you balance your love and the chaos that is life. Take these messages, hold them to your heart, and know your mind. Don't share your thoughts with everyone because that's not going to help you move forward the way that you want to. The whole world is opening up for you during this time. You have a lot of major arcana cards here, which is absolutely beautiful. So this time of Imbolc is going to be a very beautiful time for you, a very heightened time for you. Here you have the universe card. It is saying that the energy is opening up. You're going to see that the world is kind of your oyster. You're going to find out that limitations that were once put on you start to fall away. You're moving forward in justice and in balance. Again, this represents a Libra. So you are embracing that Libra energy, cutting through doubts and fears, knowing where it is that you want to be, knowing the balance that you have in your life and the way that you're moving forward, and the Four of Pentacles. This is saying that this is going to be a great time, okay, during Imbolc, to cleanse your, your chakras, to ground yourself, to move forward in your prosperity, to know what it is that you want. Also, kind of guarding your heart at this time, opening yourself up to the energy of the earth. I know that sounds really kind of hippy-dippy, but opening yourself up to the energy that is coming to cleanse your soul and lead you forward the way that you want to is going to be absolutely beneficial for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. No, 
It goes like this. Your patience. Your paying attention to the details of what it is that you want. Embracing your wisdom, Aries, is going to be absolutely beneficial for you. There's going to be a time where you feel, as this energy comes in, that your life is kind of, that your emotions are going to be really heightened. So be prepared for that during in bulk for your emotions to be heightened, for you to feel kind of off balance, and for you to see that there were some things that you were working towards that you don't want anymore. And now you are finding that because things have crumbled away and things have been made a lot clearer to you, because you have this beautiful balance of the tower and the lover's card, you're going to find that your ships come in. You look at what it is that you desire, you're getting these messages from your from the divine, your spirit guides, moving you towards love, healing, understanding, cutting through doubts and fears, absolutely embracing what it is that your mind wants. The universe is opening to you. Strong, strong, strong air sign energy here. So your mind is going to be very clear, your mind is going to be very keen, there's going to be a duality to your nature during this time and you're going to see that maybe you start doing two different things, two different things that you've always wanted to do or you find out that there is a balance that you are obtaining. It's all about balance. There's all about duality towards what it is that you love and then there's a sense of cleansing and grounding yourself as you move forward. Your subconscious message is you. Aries, you are an air sign. You're represented by the wands in the major arcana. This is a time for you to embrace your new beginnings. In bulk for you is a time of new beginnings. Fire, passion, understanding what it is that you desire, moving forward in courage, and knowing that within yourself lies the beauty, and I say magic, and by magic I mean the power of your soul to create what it is that you want, knowing that a bit of the God's head, as I say in Hindu, in Hindu tellings, the bit of the God's head, Brahm hid it within each and every person so that they wouldn't find it there because within yourself is going to be the only place that you do not look. Within yourself, Aries, for in bulk especially, look within yourself first. You are going to find such beauty and such strength that you didn't know you had. All right. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May you have a beautiful in bulk if you celebrate it. If you don't, may you have a beautiful beginning of spring. I wish you nothing again but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.